a lot of characters are more versatile, but it's hard, it's easier to dodge projectiles with platforms. Okay. Battlefield has plenty of platforms here, so we shouldn't see any projectiles spam. And obviously it's Pikachu versus Mario. We see Mario play a lot today. Uh, Pikachu not as much, as I said earlier. I think this is the fourth time today we've seen Mario play in a uh, tournament match. She's been playing in normal for a little bit. And very even trading right here. Not a lot of heavy combos, just back and forth. Getting those shields going, you know, they, the leg sweep, the try, all kinds of combos. It's kind of that frenzied fight that neither one of them really has yeah, an advantage yet. The neutral game is still trying to develop, get up to good percentages here. 34, that was a good hit there. That puts um, Churro a little bit over the edge of 34%. I would say that's a slight lead, but look at that. The beautiful comeback to make it even 52-34. There's just, there's no advantage just yet. No, we're not going to see any. Okay. So it's Pikachu right. can bread and butter pretty easily. Okay. Although we haven't seen uh, any good combos out of either yet. Yeah. Right, they've been mainly shield grab. Um, although none of the grabs have landed, I think. But it's mainly been shield grab, auto, shield grab, auto. They've been trying to work that in so they can go to bigger combos. Ooh, Pikachu. What's the damage there? Was that... Going for, going for the slower attacks on Mario yep. misses the ground dodge there. Absolutely. And, you know, it's it's back and forth now. Even with the bigger attacks, they're yeah, still even. Time. It's 68 to 75. There's still no advantage. And uh, unless I'm mistaken, this, neither of these uh, characters have too much trouble KOing once they get about 90%. No, I would have to say Mario is a better KO there because that he's up smash and forward air. Okay. Well, he has, the, he has the opportunity right now. And that's going to be... No. No. Right. A good back air. Nice recovery there. But Bomju League will be leaving us. Let's see if anyone else is brave enough to step into the box. 120% now. This is truly some of the closest matches I've ever I've ever witnessed. There's such a great skill matchup. Joining me now is Sword Legion. Sword Legion, how's the match been treating you so far? I was really hoping to beat him. We had some close moments, but ultimately he won. Probear has absolutely been dominating this tournament. I think. Ooh, and that's K out first off. That's uh. That's Eric. Ace Arnus. Arnus is getting uh, KO'd there. Mario is up to 180% though. Are we going to see a massive play from Pikachu or are we going to see more bread and butter fighting? What do you think? Yeah, Pikachu has got a long term down smash that he ought to utilize and that thunder can be pretty spammable at times. Okay. So obviously Mario has the slight advantage here because of the storm. But he's just, ooh, nice. Getting a little bit of percentage damage there. Just trying to work it up before obviously he gets. KO'd, which is a very likely possibility. Nice shield by Pikachu there to block the flame bombs there. Coming right back at it, so many leg sweeps. Yeah, that dash attack's pretty effective at high percentage. Get a bit higher before. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> look at that, and Mario did get smashed. I missed that one, sorry. Um, but Pikachu has 30%, but look at that, she brings the damage right back down. I would say Mario has a slight advantage, but not really, does he? He doesn't have a huge advantage right now. It's still anyone's game, and neither one of them wants to risk losing out the first game and then feeling pressured in the second. You want to win that first one, so you have some leeway to try different things if you have to. I can't drink intimidation, otherwise we'll get just if you're an opponent confidence because of how you play. I actually knew people that would purposely lose the first round just so they could see how their opponent plays and make them confident in the second two. It may sound like a very risky strategy, but I know people are not aware of it. Well, obviously, uh, there's all kinds of strategies that go out through here. Lots of see, we'll be going back and forth over the platforms. I love this kind of fighting. They're all over. There's, there's no real off-limits areas. No one has a huge impact ability that they have to worry about terrain, you know, unlike the Ganondorf. Harris versus Meta 64. You guys have a match now. Oh, Mario made, made a mistake. Mario makes a mistake. Oh, I cannot believe. I was so unfortunate. And game one is going to go over to Ace. 
That is, and that was just that was just a mechanical error, wasn't it? He just he missed time. Mario does not have the best recovery in the game. It's better than some using the game to get back in the actual level of the game itself. Because it does not everyone's willing to try for the down so I can never like the game. So, given that matchup, do you feel like there was any advantage taken? Do you think there's going to be any swap ups? Do you think we might see some if Mario doesn't officially win, not? If Mario doesn't win, then you think it looks like he's going to win. Meta 64. Black TV. Or this TV. Right. Of, obviously, we don't know if anyone has Umbreak yet. It was a pretty close match. It was not really a There wasn't a huge advantage being taken. It was really yeah. just a small error at the end. They just put too far to recover. I know. Wait, they've, they've gone back to select. I mean, I do. He's going to go with Lil Mag. Lil Mag is interesting. Lil Mag means no more pickup, but a lot of speed. What we're going to be looking out for is using the smash attacks and the super armor that comes with it. Okay. So the super armor attack. Obviously, give him a little bit better fighting, or would you say that super armor basically means if you get an attack while you have super armor, you can continue to the attack, making it great for counter. You know your opponent's going to hit you with charge and smash attack, and you get super armor, and it doesn't matter that they hit the back and hit the hard. So he's all about that close up personal game, looking looking to just go in there and punch him to death. And as we've seen, he has 45 percent. For the most part, and because Mac also wants to stay with the area. He's lost in there, he's left in the early world of the state, also doesn't take him as a knock of the man away, that matter of which he can't go back. What a beautiful hit by Little Mike there to set, oh, 67% for Pikachu, this indeed looks very dominant. Pikachu needs to find, I think, a slightly different strategy to approach this, he's trying to fight him, but look at that, just... Now he's got it. Once, once Up in the air, look at that! Oh, this could be it! We might see this come through! All over 100% for Little Mac. Oh, and that's gonna be stock number one! I should have said perfect fail, I should say instantaneous fail. Okay. You see the arrows Ooh, but look. Max head, when all those arrows are filled up, Little Mac gets a move that allows him to instantly kill his opponent's line there above, I believe at least 10%. Okay. Very powerful. Sometimes. Look at that. It's so even now, Pikachu, it looked like she had that underhand throughout the fight, but then she came with the first KO there, and now, again, taking more percent damage. But it looks as though maybe she's still in control. She's, you know, she's not she's not behaving cautiously. And that might be resulting in a lot of that damage there. I mean, that has projectiles like Pikachu, in my opinion, should be using a little bit more than Pikachu. Little Mac can't always stand up against it and get hit again and again and again. There Look at that. Oh, oh, Pikachu lands that, but it doesn't, it's, it's just not as... Oh, look at that. Beautiful hit. Gonna make the recovery, though. As I've said before, so many fantastic recoveries we've seen today. Oh, and that's KO game two. Pikachu definitely has a huge recovery advantage over Little Mac. I mean, he can sit in two different directions twice throughout a very long range. He has either the Haymaker, I believe it's called, or just a sideways attack, or an up the attack, which can also be very deadly to finish your opponent off. Who's playing Little Mac? Yeah. I'm sure it was. Okay, so we're going to game three. That's four game threes in a row. It looks like now player one versus player one. I think the turtles dropped the armor with a fire flower. No, that's true. This could be interesting, the Falco pick. I mean, obviously the Pikachu wasn't the best against Little Mac. You said that to begin with. Absolutely right. Very hard to fight that, but... I mean, what, what kind of matchup are we going to see here? You know these players more better than probably I do. Well, what kind of style I saw Dr. Mario vs. Joseph Sam. Some people would find that matchup very favorable, but I actually very much like Dr. Mario's pills. They bounce higher and can hit Joseph Samus in the head more often. And then you have an enemy that's a great space, and plus Dr. Mario's increases the power. Dr. Tornado is a nice guess. I find Mario and Star Fox are good if you don't know who you're supposed to like the counter. Generally, safe so to Both also have projectile reflectors, which is desirable. You don't know what you're supposed to do. Looks like we're going to see Mario versus Falco. Thoughts on that matchup? Um, let's see. Falco has some definite advantages defensively, as always. But I would be worried because of Mario's speed. I have not actually seen a match like this take place before. I'm very curious to see what well, sort of chemistry Well, we're going to see one now as we go into Game 3, the final game for these two. Ace, ours, 
and Churro going at it. 1-1 one, one game each. Mario up to 25%. That's going to be, you know, a quick 1-2 combo. It looked like they were standing inside each other's characters before there. A nice combo by Falco. Oh, that was close. Nice rebound, though. He uses that appropriately. Mario up to 56. Using those lasers correctly. Falco's going to come right back down. Lots of damage going out there from that 71% already. Falco only on 16. What do you think? Are we, we going to see a smash here pretty soon? Uh, most definitely. Some person smash those later. Do a couple damage. Get a man. Not always a really down smash. Like that. Look at that dexterity there. The absolute control of Falco he has. He's behaving a little bit like we saw um, Jaxus behave in that. He's really going aggressive in the back of off using the shield. Ooh, gets snapped right off the edge there. A little bit of a thank you very much for your Q's and P's, boys. But look at that. Mario goes sailing off. Are we going to see an edge guard? He tries, but it's not effective there. Lots of shields going back and forth. Ooh, nice grab there, but it's not going to result in any significant damage. Yeah, goes right back up. He's so well offensive. I usually see him more as a defensive character. As a character, come to me and I'll take care of you with my long range neutral sword and take care of you from a distance. Oh, oh, Mario could be going for a ride to also, Neverland where he sleeps, but no, makes the recovery. He's having trouble playing with Mario. Look no. at this. Nice Ooh, forward. that's going to be stuff one. So, was that good positioning by Falco or was that a poor move by Mario? Um, it's, I find in a game like Smash Brothers, in a situation like this, it can be a little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We all make mistakes. I don't quite sure what's going on in the game. Oh, that was a beautiful shield by Falco to block that punch. Falco up to 80% damage now, but look at this, just spitting out so much. Surely Falco is the dominant one here. He's up the stalk. He can manage, he can draw this out as long as he wants and just continue with this bread and butter little harass. Mario needs to get this KO out of the way and get him out of his stock so they can get into this the last one. And he can really start fighting from a position of equality. Well, that up throw can sometimes be a kill move. Oh! Look at that, just beautiful! Back and forth! Falco goes far, but he makes the revive! Absolutely nice! Look at these shields! He's up in the air, and that's gonna be. Nothing! Good finish! He manages to save it! Oh! Mario gets fresh blood! And there it is! Falco's gonna go down, but now he's up to 5%! Oh, excuse me, back down to 5%. He's got his new stop, and that's possibly gonna be a KO. We could see one here. He goes for that, but he. Oh, my goodness. He mistimes that a little bit. Now. No! Look at that! Look at that beautiful save! And that's game! Game 3! Goes over to Shiro! That was a pretty interesting matchup. The one thing I do want to credit Falco on though is how he used the Falco Phantasm in situations I just totally didn't expect. He put him on the opposite side of Mario and I think it took him by surprise a little bit. The Falco Phantasm is a sideways B maneuver that you can use to create distance if you need to. That's just great for zipping through opponents. Bomb two link in that guy, what was the game count? Unless your opponent gets used to it and then smashes you with something in the process. <laughs>